Disney fans, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited about today's video. I just went downstairs to pick up the mail and this arrived today. This is my November 2017 Mickey's Mystery Box. I've been subscribed to Mickey's Mystery Box for almost a full year now and I really love it every single time. They do a great job of curating a box full of items that fit your Disney favorites like your characters, your favorite rides, your favorite um, movies, and all of their items come directly from the Disney parks, which is super awesome. Um, I haven't been disappointed yet. I'm very excited to dig into this. If you want more information about Mickey's Mystery Box, I will leave some info in the description box down below so you can click that um, after this video is over. And I'm just gonna jump right in. I, I've opened the box, but I haven't looked inside yet. So let me let me see what's in here. All right, so this is my, oops, this is my first look inside and let me grab that. Okay, so this thing that slid off the top, this is an Animal Kingdom park map featuring Pandora, which is the newest section of Animal Kingdom theme park. And they do a really great job about including a park map or a park brochure in every single one of their boxes. It's just like a nice reminder that everything they send is coming directly from the Disney parks. And if you're not someone that gets to visit the parks on a regular basis, it's nice to have something that's current. It kind of, it keeps the Disney dream alive, if you will. So I appreciate that they send these out every single month. And also on my first look, I'm seeing something that looks kind of like ears and something that looks kind of plush. So I'm already really excited. But first, I must remove all of the crazy confetti. I like the blue though. Blue's my favorite color. Look, I kind of look like a cheerleader. Mickey's mystery box, rah, rah, rah. Spirit fingers. <laughs> I don't know. I was never, I was never a cheerleader. Okay, and I'm gonna start with this plush looking thing that was right on the top. Oh, I wonder what this is. Hmm, it looks like it opens up actually, so let me see. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look, look at all these, there's a million little Tsum Tsums inside. Okay, I think this is the ottoman or the sort of like footrest chair from Beauty and the Beast. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, it's like a little dog almost and it kind of runs around, but it's actually like the footrest or the ottoman for the, for the armchair um, from Beauty and the Beast from, you know, from the movie. And um, and inside there's all kinds of Tsum Tsums and they look like they, oh yeah. So these are Beauty and the Beast Tsum Tsums, but they are the human forms of the different characters. So let me see, this is amazing. Let me see who's in here. I see, um, this is obviously Mrs. Potts. Um, and this one is Chip. I'm not sure if you can see his little chipped tooth, but he has a chipped tooth and he's chip colored. <laughs> and this is the dog. This is the dog that I think is actually like this thing. See, arf, 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 arf. Right? I, I, that's right, right? I think I'm getting this right. And um, this, oh, it's Belle. Okay, and here's Belle, and Belle's in her blue dress, which is my favorite form of Belle. I know everybody loves Belle in her ball gown, but I love her in her blue peasant dress, and I don't have any Belle Tsum Tsum, so this is super great. And then here is, I think, Babette, the feather duster. Is that her name, Babette? I think they named her something different in the live action, but um, I like this one. And I believe this one is Cogsworth because there's a little clock on the side, yep. And this one is Lumiere because there's a little candelabra on the side. And this one is the beast in his human form. And some people say the beast in human form's name is Adam, but I don't know if there's anything official that actually says that the beast, like his human name is Adam. If you know for sure, let me know. But I think that's kind of like, a fan rumor or, or a fan thing. I'm not sure if any authoritative Disney source has ever said that the beast is actually named Adam. Let me know in the comments below if you know the answer to that. But this is an awesome, awesome thing. I love this. I gotta put all these Tsum Tsums away again. I love that they kind of all have their little, like, like their own little carrying case. Okay, so I'm closing it back up. This is just adorable. I, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm definitely keeping this. This is, I don't know, this is one of the cutest Tsum Tsum things I think I've ever seen. And I love Beauty and the Beast, by the way. It is my favorite uh, Disney animated movie. Oh, and wow, the, the retail price on this is $49.99. It's like a $50 item right here. So this is super, yay. <laughs> 
Okay, and this next thing I'm pulling out is it's actually something ear related, which I, I thought might, it might be. So this is a Marie ear hat, Marie from Aristocats. Aristocats is also one of my favorite Disney movies and Marie is one of my favorite characters and I love all the Disney cats. So this is actually perfect for me. It's really adorable, it's really nicely done. I love her little tuft of hair with the pink bow right at the top. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit my, my huge head. I'll have to try it on later, but if it doesn't fit my head, this is a good decorating kind of thing. I've been using some ears and hats and things to decorate lately, so um, either I will wear this or I will decorate with it or both. And the price on this is $21.99, so it's like a $22 item, so that's a really good value as well. I think we're already almost nearing the value of my entire box, so two awesome items to start with. Okay, and it looks like there's three more things left in this box. I'm getting pretty excited to take them out. I'm going to start with the smallest one. And this is actually a Disney pin. I'm a big Disney pin fanatic, in case you haven't been paying attention or looking at my jean jacket. I love Disney pins. And this is actually a Disney pin that I don't have that I've really been wanting. And for whatever reason, I've just, I've never bothered to pick it up. And I think when I was in Disney World two weeks ago, I didn't, I didn't see this really anywhere. But this is the Magic Kingdom 45th anniversary pin. Let me give you a close up of this. So it's the 45th anniversary logo. It says uh, Magic Kingdom. It's got Mickey Mouse and the Cinderella Castle in the back. And yeah, I've really been actually wanting to have this as my collection because I was in Magic Kingdom a lot during its 45th year and for whatever reason I just I never picked this up, but I have it now, so thank you. Like, you read my mind, of course. There's no price on this, but it says yellow. I do have a price chart somewhere, but I'm just going to put this around 10, 10-ish dollars, so maybe 10 or 12 dollars, I don't know, something like that. Okay, the next thing I'm pulling out, it looks like a very useful item. It is a, oh, it says fruit infuser. Fruit infuser? Um, I don't know that I'm the shining star of infusing fruit, but maybe I will be now. This is actually a stitch, a sippy cup, and it has, oh, I see. It has inside like a little um, infuser guy, so you can put some fruit in there and then stick it in and you can have like fruity tasting water. Um, or it looks like you could just take this out and it could just be like, a water sippy cup. I love stuff like this. I have a big Disney Parks one that I carry around with me everywhere because it encourages me to stay hydrated and drink more water. And um, I might keep this, but because it is stitch related, I might pass it along to my best friend Pam, who is actually coming to visit me next week for Thanksgiving. She's a huge, huge stitch fan, and she might actually love this. So I'm not sure. I'm either going to keep this or give this to Pam because I really have a lot of Disney cups. Not that I don't want more. I always want more, but this one might have an even better home with my friend Pam. And here's a little close-up of it. It just has little stitches kind of all over. And it says fruit infuser with some little paw prints. And the price on this is $9.99. All right, and this is the last item in the box. It's quite large. Um, it's wrapped up very carefully, so I'm guessing it's going to be fragile, breakable. I'm just going to slowly and carefully unwrap this because I literally have no idea what this is. It's not really mug shaped, and very often things like this are, are mugs, but this is larger than most mugs that I've seen. So let's see. I can hear it kind of clattering in here too. I hope it's in one piece here. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, it looks like it did come apart a little bit. Okay, this is a thumper. Looks like a thumper gravy boat. It's a holiday thumper gravy boat. It's very, very cute, but unfortunately thumper came off uh, in the shipping, so that's too bad. Um, but super glue works. I can glue this back together perhaps. Um, or Thumper actually just looks really cute sitting out by himself, so that's also an option. But let me try to give you a close-up of, of the two pieces. So here's his little log. It's like a, it's like a log gravy boat with um, poinsettias. And if you look at the inside of the poinsettia, it's got a little Mickey head, which is adorable. And then Thumper, when this is in one piece, he sits on top. Look how cute he is. Look at his little green scarf, how cute. So so I don't know if I'm gonna glue this back on or just put Thumper out separately because he's just so adorable. I mean, I'm not the craftiest, but I bet I could get this back together. Hopefully I could get this back together. Um, anyway, it's a really lovely uh, piece and the price on this is $26.99, so $27. So a great value and I'll just see if I can 
super glue this back together or I don't know I kind of like it like this I, maybe I'm crazy but I, I do kind of like it just like this so so we'll see I don't know but honestly I love getting holiday things and this was a really really great box lots of high quality items minus this little breakable situation but that's okay it's a it's a challenging thing to ship I'm sure and I'm just gonna do a quick little bit of Disney math and add up the entire value of the box so you can get an idea Okay, I added it all up and the total value of this box comes to about $120 retail value, which is awesome considering I paid about $95-ish dollars, including shipping, and shipping can be kind of expensive, so I think that's a really sweet deal. I like everything, it feels very tailored to me as it always does, and I guess another big thumbs up for, for Mickey's mystery box. Again, I'm leaving information down below on how you can get your own Mickey's mystery box. I get the large size of box, but they've got other sizes or you can do a one-time thing there's there's a ton of different options so go check them out I am definitely a big fan and if you like Disney videos or Disney unboxings and you haven't subscribed yet you might want to hit subscribe I do a lot of Disney unboxings and most of my videos are Disney related so Disney fans please stick around if you like Mickey's mystery box or Disney unboxings give this a quick thumbs up and please leave a comment down below and let me know what was your favorite item from this box I would love to to know. Oh, and P.S. Some people have been asking me. Um, I did just set up my own P.O. box. It's not really a P.O. box. It's a private mailbox, but that's the same thing. Some people have been asking for a mailing address to send me a letter or a note or, or something, um, so you don't have to do that, but if you wanted to, I will leave my brand new um, private mailbox address down below, so if you want to send me mail, um, please feel free. I'll, I'll try to write you back. I don't really know how this works, but I just thought I better get a private mailbox, so no crazies come to the house not that any of you are crazy but you know what I mean like you just want to be cautious so my PO box private mailbox address is also down below and I'll probably mention that in the next couple of videos because like I said a handful of people have asked so if you asked about a mailing address thank you I I appreciate your thoughtfulness okay that's all I have for today thank you for watching I will see you again really soon like probably tomorrow with more Disney stuff and have a magical day guys bye